Reality bills got me I can see reality Wanna be free Yeah, yeah I can talk again shit to you But everybody needs someone To be real Junior, yeah, point guard, Kev, you about you over two hundred pounds now, man. Yeah, something like that. Six five. I'm trying to get my weight up. Man. I see you trying to get that strength up. Look, man, y'all guys seven and zero. Oh. I've been watching CAA basketball nineteen years now. Teams that really do well in this league have really good pro level guards. And when I watch y'all play, it's three of y'all out there making plays, sharing the ball, getting it done. You've been in the league, what, three years now? Yeah, that's my thing. What do you think? Is this team good enough to make this thing happen this year? Uh, yes, I really think we are good enough. Like you said, like, we have three guards. Like, we all can get buckets whenever. So, like, we're just trying to, like, focus on the defensive side, getting stops. Because, you know, if we get stops, we could go down the other end and score. The unselfishness jumps out, too. Y'all yeah. guys making them extra passes. So, guys are getting clean looks. How your jumper going? I know Darling. I know the left-handed kid. What's his name, Allen? Yeah, Allen. Yeah. How's your jumper, kid? I mean, my jumper's good. I mean, I was two for two from three today, so I did all right. But I don't really focus on that. I just focus on trying to be the leader of this team. Like, every see. team needs a great leader, and that's what I'm trying to be. And the pace is good. You're running the team. There's no question you're the point guard on the team. Well, man, look, we're going to be back here several times this year. Next time we come back, y'all might be 9, 10, and 0. You see it happening like that? Oh, yeah, I definitely do see it happening like that. Well, appreciate you, boy. Thanks a lot, Kev. Black Cajun Sports here with head coach Martin Inglesby, the 7 and 0 Delaware Blue Hens. Coach Inglesby, I just talked to your point guard. And I've been watching CAA basketball for about <laughs> 19 years now, since 2000. And teams that have outstanding guard play, athletic guards, potentially, you know, guys that can make some money playing the guard position, do very well in this league. And you have a plethora of those type of guys. Is that what you think the key is right here to really good guard play to your fast start? I, I think so. As you know, um, you know, if you don't have good guards, you don't have a chance. I think Coach Bray used to talk about that when I was at Notre Dame. And, you know, we have some weapons on the offensive end. And, you know, Kevin Anderson, Ryan Allen, Nate Darling, I think our offense flows through them. And they got you know, a chance to make some plays. And they have freedom on the offensive end where they can go out and make plays and read and react and make decisions in the open floor. And um, I love how those guys are gelling uh, on the offensive end. And we have different guys that can step up. You know, it wasn't a great night for Nate Darling, mm -hmm. uh, but other guys stepped up. Ryan Allen had a really efficient night. And Kevin Anderson has done a fabulous job running our team, quarterbacking our group, I and like really being pace. a playmaker. Yeah. yeah. Is, is the, um, the unselfishness that's coming out, and at the same time being aggressive because these guys they make the extra pass but when they get a clean look they take it and there's no hesitation how do you get these guys to play like that and still be aggressive man it's impressive you know we preach uh, unselfishness all the time in practice and you know with our team in recruiting we had 17 assists only seven turnovers tonight uh, we give our guys a lot of freedom on the offensive end to read and make plays and, and those guys that know they have an open look, they can step up and shoot it. And they have the green light, and uh, we practice that way. He came to watch us practice every day. We do a lot of 5 on 0 but we get up and down a lot, and I think that really helps us uh, on that end of the floor, guys being unselfish and sharing the basketball, and being selfish on the offensive end. You know, I'm a blue hand, 
So I know we in some rare air here with 7 and 0. And as as every game you play now, people going to start asking these questions. So you think you guys are ready to handle it? They're not going to get a big head, are they? <laughs> I need to do a good job of keeping them home. Okay. You know, one game at a time, keeping them Focus on the task at hand. We got a quick turnaround. We play Maryland Eastern Shore here on Friday night. Uh, that would be a chance to get to 8-0. It would be only the second time in the history of our program that we've started the season 8-0. So exactly. We got to enjoy Thanksgiving, not eat too much, and be ready to go on Friday night. Last question. Fourth year here, right? Yep. These guys here, they're Martin Inglesby basketball players. This is this is what it looks like. It is. I mean, that's uh, taken a little while for us to get there, but, um, you know, I love our personnel. I love our group. We have great spirit and belief about us, it and it's a fun way to play. You know, we get up and down. We share the basketball. Guys have the green light. Love to be able to put 85-90 up on the board each night, uh, but we were great defensively tonight, too. So, I uh, like our group. We've got to continue to stay hungry and get back to work. we got a long way to go, but really happy with where we are. We need more of y'all Philly, Delaware County guys Absolutely. to get down Se here I second that. and come and see this guy coach and maybe take him up on some of these offers they got floating around. Yep. Talk to you later, Mike. All right. Guys. I don't mind. Truth, truth, Truth to you.